Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jerome Wright and once again you're joining me on my Jeronification YouTube channel. Um, here again in this video and all, I'm going to be decoding a um, 15th century um, piece of artwork by Giorgione and I believe the name of this is um, Tempest. So this is a um, a painting or an image of a painting that you can actually Google for yourself and um, the, the highlights that I make for you. Um, you can go and verify it yourself just by the touch of a few buttons on your um, on your computer um, keyboard there. Okay, that's that's what I like about my discoveries. It's not just about me being able to see multi-dimensional images and paintings and decoding the images that are in the paintings, but just right there in your own home after viewing my video or during viewing my video, you can go and verify everything that I'm stating all right there in the same instance people this is what is so beautiful about my discoveries okay um, another fact that I want to bring up is that the fact of the matter is that I mean um, if you Google as well too that when was um, when was the fact that mankind or uh, when was the first time that mankind is said to uh, discover that there was dinosaurs in our planet um, again people um, it goes back to the times of Angkor Wat and um, and other things like the Peruvian burial stone. All of that there, I mean, that showed p images of dinosaurs, but there was never no first bones found. I think until the 18th century verification of this. So, as my position is that these artists should not be de depicting dinosaurs in the 15th century, or and, and I found it to be even before that in their paintings. And, 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 and moreover is the fact that they have these images of these creatures in sequential order in the, in the, um, in the roles and the genetic contributed, uh, contributing roles that they played in the creation of mankind. Now, we're talking about, this is a 15th century artist. This painting was made in 1507 to 1508. And this guy that created this painting is depicting land life forms and oceanic river life forms that show in a genetic bridging sequence that calls for the genetic altering of mankind. I mean, this in itself is is an amazing discovery, and and it should, in my part, it should make a lot of people angry because it shows that this knowledge has been around. And in this case, if I mean. Man doesn't didn't, didn't even know that we evolved from dinosaur to this day. I, I I would imagine because there's no there's no no record no indication of any of this. However, these artists have it in their artwork, and I don't care who the artist is. I mean, it could be the the um the the, the um the unknown names to the most famous, which is Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, Rembrandt. These artists have in their artworks how. And this, is, this picture states it all. You have a woman over here nursing. You have a, 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 a male figure over here of different origins of that. It's about ge genetic bridging between um, 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 our lighter Caucasian counterparts to our darker Caucasian counterparts. And this is what the indication of the bridge represents. Bridging of genetics and brand new genes being created. And this is symbolizing off the old building blocks. This all represents the old building blocks, the genetic building blocks of mankind. New building blocks were created, perfected, and this is what these cylindrical type objects are, are stating, that a new founding stone was created and new genetic building blocks were created, and this is what this is stating. You know, 15th century people, 1507 to 1508, and this knowledge was known. In these bridgings, it's my contention that not only are there genetic contamination of mankind, but there is destruction of old genes while they're creating new genes in these experiments. Meaning that what's happening is that if you are not a part of the new process, what's happening is that it's an acceleration in the extinction process of our ancestral genes, our origins of our ancestral genes. Meaning through Africa, through all of the Asian continent and through all of the, uh, and, and coming forward to the later creations 
which are Caucasian counterparts, which were bridged over the an specific animals, targeted specific animals, that there's an extinction process, and the timing on these processes, there is a, a, a procedure that there is a time that is known. It's my position that all of these calculated moments can be narrowed down to time frames, and it tells you through which each group, their time on this planet is left. That's a, this is my position. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna need a team of experts because my, through what I can see and what I can read, the experts all they have to do is put it into scientific terms. And there, people, you have a wonderful chart of not only how mankind was created, um, came, um, came from ape, where ape came from, where the creatures that created them came from, and it's, it's, a, it's a process that can be read, and it shows you how long, through the process of these genetic bridgings, through each creation, that extinction comes following. And this is what is going on. This is how we got from our darkest of ape-like images to our African images to later to our Caucasian counterparts through these genetic bridging processes and I specifically know not just the detail of the animals and the creatures that was I can tell you people why it was done uh, how it works I mean it's, it just goes on through my genuine paranormal experience and encounter it seems like through all of that the answers come it's just that I'm showing you in this artwork because our artwork is our most tra um, 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 our world's most valuable treasured asset and by me showing you through these artworks I have your attention and through that what I'm doing is showing you that I've realized the existence and the genetic becoming of mankind and therefore I can bring it to you now let me show you here what's going on with this here Look down here, wherever you get these images at, you start looking down here. Alright? Look down here, how these rocks are. First of all, isn't this an unusual picture? Why is there, look, why is there, ask yourself, 15th century painting, Tempest, by George Young. Why is there a bridge here? Why are there cylindrical type objects here coming out of a stone? And look, this look, this is the new. Showing you the old and then showing you the new. So what is your message from this? This woman over here half naked and breastfeeding, and this guy over here walking past looking. What is the message behind this people? Except for everything that I'm stating. Genetic bridging, new genes created, shows you through those new genes, a baby was born. Look down here. I see a face. I see a chin. I see a nose. I see an eye. I see a forehead. I see a horn. And I can see faces transcending from out of the old soil, showing you that where they went into finally becoming man. So, what I'm seeing is multidimensional images just by looking at just this, this section here. But it gets better than that, people. So just hang in there. Because my what I see through my multi my paranormal multidimensional sense of vision is genuine and I can bring it to you and break it down to you in a sense. So what this picture is telling me from what I can see right here. Beginning here, I see that our our first ancestor it is showing us are that of dinosaurs. It shows you a breakdown of that creature before its extinction. What creature do I see here? I see the Triceratops. I see mutations that mutated off the Triceratops during this extinction process is being phased out. And mutations of other creatures that subsequently turns into ape and then finally into mankind. Black man and then man, um, um, images of mankind. And in this case, this guy is looking like an Asian type fellow there. A man of color. Okay? So... How do I see all of this? I'm going to give you my highlights. Now, also, why is the bridge there? Well, it shows you that from these creatures, how did this bridging over process take place? This bridge represents a bridging over reptilians. From land creatures, 
that I just told you that I see here, Triceratops and other creatures. In fact, you can actually almost see, almost like this, this, this is looking like a wildebeest creature here, the hind quarters, the big shoulder part, and the head here. Almost looks like a wildebeest creature. I'm going to break these creatures down for you in a minute. I just want to show you something, how this works. Well, over these creatures, there was a bridging. Over which creatures? Well, we already have an insight based on some of my videos and some of the other mythical um, 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 stories that are out there. Reptiles. There was a process that we were bridged over with the reptiles. Which reptiles? Well, the image of the reptiles either comes like through the Garden of Eden, either you see a serpent, a snake, or a dinosaur. I mean, not a dinosaur, a, um, a lizard. Or a um, or a fire-breathing dragon. This is a repti a, repti um, a representation of our reptilians. So which reptile is present here? Well, if you look closely at the water, there's a discombobulated figure right here in the water. You know what that discombobulated figure is? If you look closely at it, it creates the image of a crocodile, a larger-than-life crocodile, right there. So now it's telling you that it's a bridging over of land and water to create new genes. And this is how this breakdown has actually occurred. Now before I continue, I'm going to tell you something. We all know that our ape, our, our African ancestral genes, these genes were a tough gene. Our, the origins of our genes were a tough gene to break down. So how they attacked those genes is they used the availability of all of the creatures that are within our world. It's a contamination process which calls for the altering, which also which calls for the other likenesses of our kind. A genetic experimenting process that targeted the breakdown of the originating genes of our ancestors, which was ape and African. How did they do it? By all means necessary. These creatures, when you look into the sense of the Bible, you see sheep, you see lions, you see elephants. People, in a cauldron cocktail-like way, they attacked the originating genes of our ancestors. Through that, that, those genes, all sorts of genetic contaminations to break down the originating gene to the point to where the resulting images and likenesses and the altered images genetically and outwardly inwardly and outwardly came the likenesses of our Caucasian counterparts and this is why from our from our our, our darkest of, of, of um that's why from our darkest of apes and our darkest of Africans we now have If you want to call it fair skin, white skin, light skin, Caucasian skin, blue blue eyes, gray eyes, blonde hair, red hair. So from our ape ancestor, which had a specific hair group, a specific everything, even that creature was altered genetically through the process. We have this. All right. Let me go right into where these creatures are at. When you Google the image, I'm going to bring up the my highlights so you can actually see what's going on there. Can you guys see my triceratops in here? Right here, there's a triceratops. There's the body. There's the tail. The tree limb actually camouflages the the bone-like um, um, I don't know what you would call that, the bone of the, the skull of the Triceratops, you know that shield that the Triceratops have. And then if you look down here, here's the Triceratops snout, and the tree limb helps cam camouflage those, um, those arched figures there in his bone. I'm going to bring up the highlights. Then next to the Triceratops is a mutation that shows you that when this creature was being phased out, the next creature, after this creature was targeted through a genetic bridging, there's a, another creature here. Then we get over to here, and you see a, a hippo and pig-like mutation right here. 
okay and then you start seeing other mutations here there's a there's a horse that's encrypted in this um, vegetation right here in this grass and then right here it shows you an ape right there in the hip side of this man's trousers and at the ape's mouth you will see a penis that's right people a penis the shaft and the head of the penis turned away from the ape which represents that this man is that of our um, closest to our ape or African ancestor and showing you from all of these bridges where this man is and it shows you which genes were broke down and how were they broke down it's showing you that our the origins of our original genes of these creatures was broken down through a genetic bridging with a reptile which is that of this croc right here and this is what the explanation of this a cyclonation change of genetics which resulted in the new birth and new genetic of new genetics and they're showing you here and this artist is telling you of his knowledge of this process now I'm gonna go here again now I have the, my highlights made here See how the creatures come into play. Um, let me see here. Where, where my croc at? Right here is the long snout of the croc. Over here is that roughness, those arches over the eyebrow. There's the mouth, and then there's the bottom chin. I'm going to take you to my unedited version, and you can see for yourself. So, you Google this image, you will see that. Now, my Triceratops. Um, let me see if I can get that in closer for you without. There is a tail of the Triceratops. There is the back of the Triceratops, the hind leg the underbelly coming into the front leg and then here's where that tree limb I told you the the bone structure of the triceratops how it creates those arches the eye and then the head coming down see that guy right there then it shows you right next to the tr triceratops the breakdown of that creature's genes and the next mutation in line okay then it comes into our hippo like image and if you look closely the pig now for most of you that think that this sounds ridiculous think about this on how when we get to here which is the hippo and the pig-like creature, how the organs of this creature and the heart are so much in compara comparisons to that of our mankind images. So, you with me, people? Okay, I'm glad you are because this is this is this is this is logic and just a a layman's breakdown no scientific um, I don't have no scientific background so this is just a breakdown on how from this creature the organs of this creature are almost in likeness and compatible being compatibility to that of our mankind so you just got the explanation of why this is because that creature this creature and that creature are in genetic link to that the evolution genetic becoming of mankind now in between there if you look into the brush there is an image of a horse not the horse as we know them but our ancient ancestral horse so remember all of those stories about half man half horse horn beans and all of that it shows you how these creatures 
Oh, by the way, this creature that comes from here, that's right there, you know what that actually is? Um, it, it, show, it shows you that this is like a wild boar, and it shows you how the tusks, the horns, came into play from this, from this creature. It's like a breakdown, and it shows you like a wild boar, and shows you horns and tusks right here from this creature to that creature. To almost to looking like our domestic our domestic animals like the like the um like the like the pig and the and the hippo creatures that we know of today and then coming into the horse and then the likenesses of that of mankind. Now look here into this guy's crotch area and his trousers. How I knew that these were encryptions because in the artist George Quintet's artist George Quintet's and he has like the matador type person and, they, and this guy also has a shepherd's crock which I broke down in my discoveries as well too which means that they are shepherdizing herding carriers of genes that were created in a cauldron like way you will see Jesus with the shepherd's crop. I can do the same exact thing with those images. You will see a many of famous biblical figures, John the Baptist and many of them, um, that shows you that that shepherd crops, meaning that they are the carriers, the genetic contaminators, the genetic part of everything that you see here. And this is why this guy, you can't see it here, but he has the shepherd's crop in his hand, the stick. Showing you that he is the carrier. He is the herder. He is the person that is in charge of this redistribution of everything that you see here. And this is in most of the artist's paintings. It's an encryption style that I have to code it and understand what it is actually stating. Now... Look at his trousers right here at his crotch area. I don't know if you can actually see. When you Google that image, you will see the face of an ape. All the details. Let me see if I can see it from here so I can. But this part here is where the ape's mouth is. There's the ape's lip line. And you know how the ape has the skin area and then all of the fur comes back behind it? This is the way the mouth is right here. Right there. There's the ape's chin. No hair around the mouth. You know how that, that has that bald area around the mouth? And then the ape's face comes back in the trousers. And when you you, you will see the ape's eye. You will see the defining wrinkles in the ape's face. Right here in the corner. And then you know what's right there? You know what this is where my pencil tip is at? I'm at the tip of a penis. The head, the helmet, everything, and you'll see the shaft coming back into the ape's mouth, which represents that this guy is carrying the breakdown of these genes. And I can explain to you in detail everything which is actually being stated. The altered state through all of these genes is showing you that now he is distributing through his penis new genetics that causes for different likenesses of man. And that's what this is all about. Now, this is the 15th century, people. All you have to do is Google this painting. Georgion Tempest. Let me let me spell that out for you so we don't get that so we don't get that that, that messed up there. G I O R G I O N E Georgion Tempest T E M P E S T, and this is a 1507 to 1508 painting. People, again, ask yourself, what in the hell does this? How do this artist in that time know that from? Listen, that from from eight there was man. How do this artist know to genetically place, genetically link our becoming, not just with ape, but with horses, with hippos, with pigs, 
and with other mutations stemming from that of our ancient dinosaur, which is not supposed to have been known at all during that time, the Triceratops. This is beyond that of a holy grail, people. This is genetic information that has been known all along. And if you really want to get angry and be in detail about all of this, look at how many lives, look at how many Look at how mankind was genetically altered and cheated out of so much information. How doctors and scientists dedicated their lives to understanding how to save lives. How to alter the genetic shortcomings of mankind. And here you have it that the information in details is right here. And not just here. But in Leonardo da Vinci's works, and in, in Nostradamus' works, and Rembrandt's works, and Bernini's works, and then throughout the entire Vatican City, through all of those ancient Roman artworks, this information is known. Not just through those areas. I can take you back beyond through there. I can take you into Rome. I can take you to Africa. I can take you through the catacombs. I can take you through um, um, ancient cave art. And show you the same exact thing from just drawings, primitive drawings on walls that are telling us the same exact thing. So how did these people get it down to a science? Well, you know why? Because those ancient, well not ancient, those early on explorations on our planet which was commissioned by kings and queens and by the Vatican and um, the Britons, all of these people that did those invasions on these other continents, you know what they did? They ran upon? They ran upon the, 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 the grails of our ancestors, the Mayans, the Aztecs, the Egyptians, the Africans, that had this information that was already detailed in their artwork. And I can show you artwork in glyphs in the Mayas, in, in, in ancient Egypt, that thought that to be erased, but through the multidimensional images that are there, that these people, and, and, and the likes of these people that went on these explosions, stole and thought that they were erasing through the damaging and destruction of these locations left behind. Stole the identity of our ancestors. Now, who was responsible for this type of art back then? Religion was. Who was the, the popes? The popes oversaw all of our ancient art. You had to go through them to create paintings like this. These artists created similar paintings like this for our religious leaders back then and for our kings and queens and for our, uh, uh, every, all our ancient rooted religion. So who are the guilty parties of this? Just those I described. Our ancient rooted kings and queens, our royalty, our ancient rooted religion, popes, the Vatican. People, this stuff is the true truth behind who you truly are. I don't care who the artist is, I can take you from the beginning. Beyond this, beyond there even being art, I can take you through to current on how this stuff is affecting you today. Not just genetically, but mentally, physically, mentally, in, physically, inward and outwardly, psychologically, by the food you eat, and the lies that are being told. Who is responsible? These people, the artists, those that instructed and directed the artists, which I just named, their mentors, their schools, the teachers that, that, that they went to, their religious values. Look at the artists, look at the, look at the religious institutions that they attended, look at the affiliations of these of these are you take this artist and break down who, who he was affiliated with you take his family who they was affiliated with attaching kings and queens attaching their religious bodies of who they were dealing with and you have the culprits 
this is why I was just telling, a person was just telling me, say, hey, look, you have some amazing materials that you put, how come this stuff is not known to, to the world? How come this is not, you're not rich and famous yet behind all of this? Well, it's because the people that have the power to recognize the work and what I'm doing and the significance of what I'm doing, they already know. You give me a, 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 a person in power, and they know about this. This is the reason why they're in power and enjoying their place in power right now. So do you think that they're going to welcome what I've discovered? This is the day that they dread of a discovery coming forward, of a person coming forward and stating that they done found the true holy grail. The genetic grail and what's going on with mankind. In order for them to recognize me of this, they have to fall. Everything else falls. Everything. Science falls. Religion falls. Education falls. Reality as we know it falls. So, do you think that then I'm welcomed? I'm welcomed. That there's going to be welcome open arms? This cross cancels everything. The theories of aliens, the theories of, 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 of religion, the theories about everything is crossed out. This is reality right here, people. Now, I'm going to go back into where we at here. I gave you the triceratops. I gave you the mutations of the triceratops. I gave you pigs. I gave you that. So, what else is down here? These are multidimensional images. So, from the triceratops... From the mutations of the Triceratops. Look, look at this creature here. Looking like the pig. Look at the body coming off the look. Coming off there. You know what this look look people? Look at this. Coming off the ground. Look. Look at the body here. Look at this. Look at the head. Look at the eye. Look at the head. Look, look, look at this creature, people. Look at the creatures. And then over here in this crotch area, you have an ape, and then have the ape with the penis out back. I mean, you have the, the balls in the ape's mouth, and this is something else that, because this here is also with a, um, 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 um with other, um, images, um, I just, um, uh, and, um, oh, gosh, I mean, it's something that is current. In Nicki Minaj's Roman Reloaded, um, video, her Roman Reloaded video, the album cover by Deluxe Album Artist, there's a same, similar image. An ape with a penis in its mouth backwards, indicating genetics, altered genetics. This image right here is on our album. You got to see my video that's here. The penis in the ape's mouth backwards, which means this creature's, our ancient ancestor genetics, reversed. And this is why the balls part is in the ape's mouth and the penis is projected out of the ape's mouth. Reversed genetics. Altered through the cauldron-like process of what is happening here. Our land creatures bridged over our water creatures, which represents reptilian. The resulting altered building blocks, genetics of mankind, and this is why this looks so, this looks so futuristic. Look at how all of this looks ancient, but all of this, this here looks so futuristic. From the old building blocks, new building blocks created as a result new creations new likenesses of mankind um, what's down here you turn the picture sideways and I'm going to see if you can get if you turn the picture sideways this is upwards oh hold on turn this picture sideways you can see it already now remember that there's the triceratops and all of these other mutations that I showed you down here so it's not just that about that it's about the likenesses of ape the likenesses of man with horns now remember I told you how it shows you how the horns of man came into play See the image of, of man right there? You see the ape right there? You see that? Yeah, people, look. The lips. You see that? 
the closed eyes of the apes. You know, you know that that bald face, that um, bald area of the ape. You see that, and then around the areas where it's supposed to be the ape's hair, like at his forehead and all of that, right there, and on his cheek. You see that the image of ape emerges. Well, also right here, there's a man. Right there, the image of man with the horn. And you see that skin pulled over right here? You know what that showed? You know what that represents? It's a bridging over. It's showing you that this man, this mutation, is a genetic becomer of the creature that I just described right here, which is Triceratops. The all horned beings, all horned ancestors, came with horns because of the fact that and they were a descendant genetically and on closer end to their Triceratops creator. So there, there's a man with a horn on his head, like a rhino, look like a rhino man, look like a rhino. You, you see the cartoons and Spider-Man and stuff like that, or the rhino and all of this. Stan Lee and all of these people, all famous for creating these mythical beings and cartoon characters. The fact of the matter is that they all existed. You start looking at these pictures, people, and you start seeing the faces of who we truly are. The readable grails hidden in artwork of who we truly are. Why is this stuff here? 15th century. This is not supposed to be known. This is not just random images, people. Genetic, genetic and identifiers of who we are. And unless I've had shown this to you, you would never seen. Even the crocodile that's here in the background. It doesn't show... I mean, the guy, if he wasn't hiding this... He could just draw you a crocodile. He could just draw it for you. It could be just drawn out. But no, you know what he did? He encrypted it in the best way that he could into the water. But people that know that can look at this would know. Why would you have a body of water? And then have a crocodile that's almost the size of the body of the water right there. The head. And then the bridge. Except for everything that I just told you. What does the crocodile have to do with all of this? What do the triceratops have to do with this? And these other creatures. And then the, the monkey with the penis backwards here. Except for what I just told you. A genetic bridging. An altering of a mankind's original building blocks, genetic building blocks, to create new building blocks. So, my name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jeronification channel. People, I know who you are. I know where you came from. I know where you're going. And you know, I like to state this that I like to state that you know I guess it's written somewhere I heard it say that um how Jesus somebody asked Jesus um when the end would come and Jesus um reportedly responded that you know you must know the um, you must know the beginning if you want to know when the end is coming. And then he he, he commented to this uh, to the effect that the person that knows the beginning. Uh, no, he's, I, I think it's, it's this, the, the the true word is blessed is the person that knows the beginning because that person actually knows the ending. Uh, well, people, it's my position that I know. All of it. I know the cyclonation of our life, of mankind's 
existences, animal, uh, animal life, and throughout, not just our world, but the worlds that was previous, it's my position that um, Venus and Mercury were previous worlds world, um, um, with lives like ours. Our planet is current. It's my position that Mars is next in order. And if you think about it, it makes nothing but better sense. If you think about it, because as these planets are being thawed out, they're being destroyed once all of the 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 the, the liquid properties are being evaporated out of them. Look at Venus. Look at Mercury with the holes blown out the sides of them. Going towards the sun on a rotisserie like order. Thawed out on a rotisserie being dried up and destroyed eggs. Earth is going through the chemistry of that right now. Look at our glaciers melting. Look at everything being the evaporation process of our of our water. Earth began out as a water world. Earth is losing its water. It can't come back. The sun is drying the planet up. You can't get, I mean, it could be taken out, but it can't be put back in. As this water is being extracted from our world, it's not coming back. Through the evaporation and chemistry process, through that with the sun. And so now, as our world is being dried up, logically stated, then Mars, which is next in order, which is furthest away than our planet from the sun, has water and is being thawed out now. And as the chemistry between the sun and Mars intensifies, then that planet will show and start melting it's, it's um, material liquid um, properties, and what happens from that? It will create a, through the evaporation process, it will create an atmosphere. So Mars is in birth while Earth is being destroyed. And then after Mars, the next planet in order, and so forth and so with. This is what is happening in our solar system. But Nostradamus didn't tell you that. Um... Einstein didn't tell you that. The Hubble character didn't tell you that. NASA didn't tell you that. The Vatican didn't tell you that. Jerome Wright told you that. The beauty in my discoveries is that, through logically speaking, reality is before your eyes. I will take everything in our world and undo it as it is and bring back to you reality if you want to know more you stay tuned you send my messages you um um um, um two others you got a college professor you got a silence professor i don't care who you're in college you're um somebody that you know that's in power link them to this link them to this and when you link them to this tell them there's a guy that 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 then discovered what is the, the encryption style behind artwork? And he doesn't have no end. Look at his videos. He keeps going on and on and on. And in each video, he shows us these faces. Of ancestral faces. And it's not just one way he's doing it. The ape, the, the um, um, mutations from the ape and the black faces. And then showing you monkeys and, and, and trousers and, and penises and all of that. And then showing you the, the, the miracle babies and what, what genetically came. He's not just showing you that. But he can flip the page and, and turn it, rotate the image and give you triceratopses and, 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 and other creatures, ancient creatures. That contributed to the existence of man. This is not just no regular crop that this artist is showing you. This is the ancient dinosaur type croc that they call, what do they call that? The super croc. You see this? This is not no regular crop. So now you have the super croc here with the triceratops. And the images of woman and man, and this man being of his genetic uh, and, 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 and closeness and proximity to his genetic ancestor, which is the ape, which is shown in the trousers of his pants there. And then the bridge between, showing you that be between them, bridged are all of these creatures. 
and then a new baby is born. And then what are they telling you with that? You, oh, you want me to go there too? That now the baby is bridged back over. And this is something else that I'm not going to share this secret about what's being stated by this image. But it's telling you that through this bridging over, the process is continued. Where is it continued? With the mother and baby. Because now, with the birth of the new baby, through this process, the same thing Jesus was doing, this process, the baby is being bridged back over its mother. It's a continuation, a cyclination process. Look at these creatures before I pull out. The Triceratops, its mutation, the pig, the hippo-like creatures. Look at it, emerging from the name. Look, she's bridged over this. Look, she's, look, look at this, the super croc. Look at this, people. Then go to the ape, and then the penis. Google the image and look for yourself. My name is Jerome Wright. I'm going to create another video, and I'll see you on my next video. I hope you're having fun with this. I hope for those of you that are laughing, continue to laugh because I don't have no end. I don't care if this was an image of wh whoever, if your favorite religious image, I can do this with. You know why? Because those famous artworks that you are so attracted to boast and are saturated with these images. And this is the reason why they're famous in the first place. You know why? Because they're telling you who you are. Yep.